Hello everyone. This is Michelle Shannon and um, just coming to you with an interior locution. Always these interior locutions I believe are extremely important. Um, interesting, the one that I have to share with you today is from actually um, January 21st. It's taken me some time to deliver this message. Uh, I found it especially interesting because uh, there was actually um, another uh, prophetic message that came out by um, another individual that actually um, was very much like this one, which I always find interesting when another prophetic message confirms what I've received. So this is an interior locution that I received from Jesus Christ. Um, and again, it was on uh, January 21st. So um, I want to share this with you and just pretty much just leave it to what our Lord had to say is intense and it's important and uh, many of the remnant army uh, a lot of my um, friends on facebook who are involved in this uh, movement uh, members of the catholic church and um, also there are some who are christians who are watchmen and who follow um, and who hear the hear messages um, it's not just catholics and um and not all catholics are part of the remnant army there's a diverse group um, but they're all christian they're all followers of jesus christ and they're tuned into what's really going on there are a lot of i'm i'm noticing a lot of people who are um part of the remnant army who are being distracted and confused by um, misleading um, individuals. And I'm not going to go into that right now, but definitely um, that's something that I'm praying about because they're very good Christians and they are loyal to Jesus Christ, but they are being deceived. And this is one of the um, things in the Bible it talked about in the last days see to it that you're not deceived and that many people would be deceived um, so we want to we want to pray about that and and I want to encourage all the members of the remnant army to pray the prayer of discernment that is part of the crusade prayers and if you uh, don't have that prayer I encourage you to uh, look it up I'll try to uh, post a link if you click on show more, I will I'll put that in there so that you can pray the prayer of discernment because we all need to have that ability to discern so that we aren't deceived. Uh, so it's really, really important you pray that prayer. Um, also, uh, very important is uh, repentance and um, just prayer in general for the Catholic Church that is... Uh, being infested uh, by um, the evil sect and in up and including to now it is common knowledge that the uh, leadership in the Catholic Church is influenced by the evil sect and um, anyone who is paying any attention at all to what's going on in the Catholic Church knows that there is an evil influence in the church and it goes all the way to the very top so we all need to be praying. We all need to stand up to it. We all need to speak up to it. Uh, it it's no time to stay quiet. Um, uh, so anyway, I uh, just want to make a few of those points. I did want to say it's really, really important for Catholics to, one, go to confession. If you're not Catholic, to repent every day. If you're Catholic, you should repent every day. Get on your knees, 10 minutes, repent every morning. Um, these were instructions I received from Jesus Christ, but also we should be going to confession on a regular basis. Um, and then um, adoration, get to adoration and spend time with the Lord. Show him that you love him. Let him know that you're loyal to him. Pray for your church, pray for your family, pray for your uh, leaders and pray for 
our country, um, pray for the world, uh, pray for um, all, all of us, um, which means pray for the salvation of souls, which is my constant prayer. Um, I, I hold a constant vigil in my heart for the salvation of all souls uh, because of the state of our world, uh, which brings to mind the seriousness of abortion. Um, you know, mothers are murdering their babies every day in this country and around the world. And um, if they do not repent and ask Jesus to be uh, bring his mercy upon their heart, uh, they will spend all eternity in, in hell. And uh, we don't want that. We want um, them to know Jesus Christ and, and, and know salvation the experience of salvation. So, um, in, in with all of that having been said, um, I just wanted to share with you um, the interior locution I received on the 21st of January uh, 2020. So it begins, windows are going to close like Lockdown in a panic room. People, souls will be locked down and alone with their sins. Yes, my child, forced to be alone with their sins. Tell everyone the time has come to get on your knees. Choices are being made right now for all eternity. Child souls will live with decisions they make or do not make. They will live with this choice for all eternity. Then Jesus gave me a personal note, a beautiful message, uh, a message filled with love for me and um, those I love. And then he returned to the message for everyone. So I'll continue with what he said. He said, tell everyone, very little time is left. If you knew what is coming, you would stop what you are doing and give your lives to me, your Jesus. Love on me entirely, as you say, because I always say I'm, going I'm loving on Jesus you know so he said as you say so I'm going to repeat that paragraph he says love on me entirely as you say remain with the ones you love live in accord with my will so he's talking about walking with Jesus walk the walk with Jesus he's talking about living a will according to the will of God and a, the will of Jesus do not allow distractions to to deceive or mislead you, which is very important. Keep to yourself, remain with only those few that you trust. He goes on to say, I forgive all those who ask this of me, but only those who ask will receive my mercy. It is a rude awakening to come. See that you tell the others. And this was from Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to my message. My name is Michelle Shannon. I am a child of the Most High God, and I belong to Jesus. Please like and share my message. Thank you.